Once we have a lot of iron, we want to then create the forge hammer. Now to view a recipe, you can press the R key if you've got just enough items installed. This will allow you to view all the recipes on how to craft things. You can also press the U key, which stands for uses, and this allows you to see what uses can we actually get out of this item itself. So to craft the forge hammer, we first need four iron ingots in this pyramid cone shape. And then we also need three heavy weighted pressure plates, which only require two ingots to make. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to make those first of all. So we have the three pressure plates, then we want to make this pyramid structure, and then we want to put the three pressure plates overhead, and then we can make the forge hammer. So now we have the first piece of kit, which we can place down over here. Now this is the interface of the forge hammer. We can put an input in here. For an example, we could put ore in here and we could actually break it down into raw iron and then convert it into those raw materials. Now you can see I have an iron hammer here. I'm just gonna show you the crafting recipe for this, which I may have pre-mentioned. It requires you to have five iron large plates, which are made out of small plates over here, and then some sticks below it. Now these hammers are actually needed to crush ores into actual dust, okay? So we can put that in here inside the forge hammer and then put the raw iron in for an example, and then we create iron dust out of it so that's basically needed to put inside the interface if you want to then break down the raw iron into dust you can then also for an example put in the ingots and then that can be broken down into other items too so we can then directly make it into plates for an example and we don't actually need the hammer to do this so this is how you can use this forge hammer to create some of the other raw materials that can be used in other crafting recipes in the mod there's other types of hammers from other materials so we have iron we have steel we have diamond and we have netherite and the crafting recipes should be very similar to some of the other recipes you may just need a smithing template for an example and for the diamond one you just need large diamond plates which are made out of diamond plates and as i showed you before to make these plates you would just put an ingot inside the interface and then make an iron plate for an example or a plate based out of the ingot or smelted ore you've put in next up to make bronze so we can make bronze by using three crushed copper and one crushed tin so i'm just going to spawn some copper ingots over here and i'm going to spawn some tin ingots which you should have obviously been mining. And I can throw them in here to make certain things. And as you can see here, if I put copper dust in this shape with the one tin dust, we can then make bronze dust. So that's how we can make bronze. And this gives us three bronze dust. And then we can actually smelt that dust directly into ingots. So for an example, if you want to create a furnace, and then we could get some kind of fuel, we can make a furnace. And we'll put this next to these contraptions. We'll put the fuel in. And we can just directly smelt this bronze dust we've just crafted from the dust from the other ores, which we broke down. And then we can just smelt that mix directly into bronze ingots. So that's how we actually acquire bronze ingots in the mod. The next recipe we want to have a look at is the steam mining drill. Now as you can see the steam mining drill is going to require us to actually get a lot of different components. We're going to need to combine things like the copper drill head which requires copper plates, copper curve plates and copper bolts. We're going to need three diamonds which we'll have to obviously mine. We'll need a bucket, we'll need large iron plates which are made out of iron plates and we'll need two furnaces. And then you'll get an achievement getting that 3x3. So if you're wondering what this does, this basically mines a 3x3 area and saves fuel so we need to actually keep this fueled with steam if we press shift for more info you can view information about this as you can see it says water zero percent it shows the mining area it has silk touch activated and you can press the right button on still or flowing water to fill this tool place fuel inside the drill using the right button press y to toggle three times mining and you can toggle silk touch with left shift and the right button so i can turn on silk touch mode by crouching and pressing right click and if i would get a water bucket for example and just fill this up here I could right click and you can see now it says 100% water so it's actually filled so as you can see I left clicked on the stack of coal and then I right clicked on the tool so I'm going to show you how to do that again just any coal in your inventory or fuel left click on it so we can move it around and then mouse over the tool itself and right click and it should fill up so now it shows that we have 64 coal inside so I'm just going to enable silk touch and now we have this little box interface showing where we're actually going to mine okay so if we shift to survival mode where we can actually mine properly when we left click providing it's within this box's radius it's actually going to mine now in a 3 by 3 area so this is going to save us a lot of time and it's going to save us fuel. All you have to do is just keep this fueled and obviously make sure there's water in it as well as coal and then we can use it. Now for the bronze boiler setup over here, we're going to require quite a few things to create this. So we first need fire clay bricks. So we're going to need fire clay bricks themselves 
the bars to create the blocks and this is going to require us to get fire clay dust so we do this by getting clay balls well you know how to get on minecraft along with brick dust so this is from brick tiny dust or brick dust we can use a tiny dust to make it into the big dust or we can just break down bricks into the dust itself so for an example you'd use the forge hammer throw bricks in and that's how you get the dust so that's what you need for the bricks themselves the bronze plates they're very similar to how we actually got the other materials so i showed you how to make bronze before right so for plates as with anything in the mod you just get the ingots you throw them in our forge hammer and we just make the plates or the double ingots for an example then you need a bronze tank so that's more plates surrounded by a piece of stained glass so it's actually pretty straightforward to make this piece so we'll just move the bronze boiler over here this is what it looks like you can see the interface over here it shows the steam the fluid output we can press left to extract for an example we can click to enable or disable to turn on or off the lock editing it shows the water inside which we can left click to insert or extract and it shows it's empty right now we can adjust this with a mouse scroll so we can change the capacity to be lower than 64 and this is obviously the temperature so it's zero degrees right now because there's nothing inside it's not powered but for an example if we throw in a lava bucket like we just did the temperature is going to increase so it's rapidly increasing and then it's showing the steam over here i think it creates steam once the temperature gets to the max then it shows the water that's in here which is obviously going to be the coolant so i could just get a water bucket and then right click it and that fills it with water so now we have full water now water i believe is going to help modulate the temperature although i filled it the actual idea is to actually place a type of heat source beneath it so this could either be lava or it could be fire so i could literally put a block of lava there and that could be the heat source beneath it and then you need to feed it fuel and water so i could also throw in coal in here i believe that works but we've already put in water as well so it's going to use both of those but remember it can also be logs as well and then this will produce steam so you can see now we're actually getting steam from this boiler machine now if you want to automate Okay a water input into a machine like this for an example what you would do is you first acquire a bronze pump so i'm going to show you how to craft that first as usual so a bronze pump you need fluid pipes these can be any of the colors shown below fluid pipes are created with bronze curved plates i showed you how to make all those kind of types then we need a piece of stained glass we need a copper rotor so yet again we're using all these different pieces like these small bolts rings the blades which we're making out of curved plates and rods so they're complex to make but they're quite straightforward forward it just takes a bit of time we need copper gears same idea making out all of these little things which we crafted the forge hammer then we need a bronze machine casing so all those plates again and a bronze gear in the middle so this is when i said you need a lot of bronze tin copper all these ores this is why and then another tank like the last piece what we're going to get is we're going to get the water pump now get the bronze water pump okay and i'll show you what it looks like this is the interface yet again steam yet again it shows water what else do we need for this well we need a wrench so a wrench in this mod to craft a wrench is literally just plates it's straightforward just like all the old mods like industrial craft so a wrench is really easy to actually create what does a wrench do well a wrench lets us basically fiddle with machines bear in mind if you do want to query a certain item you can hold g to open the guide so i'm going to show you how to do that for an example i'm glossing over this but if you do want to learn more about the pump you can press g on it and it'll show you more information about it the pump is basically to insert water into the boiler automatically right so you need to surround it horizontally by water blocks and it'll start producing water for one eu per tick it'll automatically transfer water to the machine on its output side but water sources need to be adjacent to it horizontally make sure this pump itself is powered by steam too now the first machines we should be crafting is first of all a steam macerator but obviously in this case a bronze macerator so it's using steam so we need diamonds copper gears and yellow fluid pipes with a machine casing for this so that's a macerator as you can see we've got some steam now from this boiler because i've placed it next to it we also want a mixer so a mixer we use fluid pipes rotors machine casing glass and gears so we're also going to place this on the other side so now we have a mixer then a compressor so we use rods gears fluid pipes a casing and we need to make another forge hammer to make this now if you know industrial craft you'll know what a compressor does right so we'll put the compressor in front for now so it's on the third face and then we also want a cutting machine we use gears pipes a casing tinted glass and we use a diamond so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to actually move this forge hammer 
over here and we're going to place our cutting machine behind so we're on the fourth face and we've got some steam in it now all of these take bronze plates and motors or circuits or any of the components i showed you and these are crafted from wires in tin or copper you need all of these ores at the start in abundance as you can realize again and the last part of this stage i'm going to talk about is a furnace so we need a new type of furnace if you want to upgrade from the original furnace so we need more of those fire clay bricks again some bronze plates and a standard furnace and this creates a bronze furnace now why is a bronze furnace better well if i just place this on top of our boiler for now and then we'll get steam because it's on the fifth phase bronze furnace is basically just better because we can smell items for free using steam so we don't need any kind of import as long as we're generating steam so i could just get some iron ore over here and then throw it in the top and it's going to smelt and it's just based on the amount of steam we're getting from the boiler beneath it so as long as that has steam which it's currently getting from the lava source underneath that boiler then we're going to be able to just endlessly smelt for as long as the steam lasts so we can just use this instead of putting in a fuel source like wood or coal into a standard furnace so theoretically we're just smelting for free with the steam power and it requires no kind of fuel and it's very low on cost once we get our system up and running so this is our basic beginner kind of setup so far which allows us to start within the steam age okay so it's very straightforward i've only showed you a few machines and next up we're going to move on to the electric age after the steam age which is i guess stage two